Vladimir, that was a very, very civilized press conference. That's right. Get used to it because we're going to have another press conference or press conferences. Um, and uh, there are another plan in, in the States. And so back here at the fight week, who knows, we're going to have another one in Germany. So, and I'm really happy about it because it's extraordinary, it's different than any other press conference that you were observing in the past. And I'm happy about it because we represent the sport and the sport needs to look good, clean uh, and not and not house. Like it used to be in the past in many years and I'm really happy about I'm really happy about it that um, we're giving a different picture that people get used to. The word you used in, in the press conference was obsession. You used it several times. This is this isn't just a fight for you, this is your obsession. To win this fight, to take this challenge, which, I, which I'm doing, it is an obsession to me. I look forward to it and uh, I'm just very highly motivated and happy where I am right now and what I'm doing right now and I honestly never thought that uh, eventually something that, like that, a dream for an athlete and for a boxer, uh, even if I've done multiple stadium fights, it's going to be my eighth stadium fight. But it's never been like that, it's never been as big as, as, as Wembley with 90,000 people. Um, and fighting the best man in division, it's always something that comes as a dream. And all the attention that we're, we're getting into this uh, event and promotion is also very special. So on all the different sides, I never thought even and dreamed of that something like that is an opportunity going to come in my sporting life. And that's why I also mentioned it's a signature fight. It's a definitely different fight, fight that um, stands out to compare with all the other fights that I had. And uh, as well, from the um, point of, of uh, significance, it's something that I owe to Manny Stewart. Because he was telling me, Vlad, you're going to have it one day. And now I'm going to say, Manny, I got it. Last question from me, you've, you've fought with four other British fighters, you lost to Tyson Fury, I don't want to remind you too much about that, you beat David Hay, is Anti Joshua a, un a unique compared to the ones you've already fought? Totally different caliber, he is a true professional, he is obsessed as well with the sport that he's doing, he loves it, he walks in a training suit, he's doing his you know, exercises <laughs> which at the press conference, so he's like... He's, he's in the mood, he's, he wants to get better, uh, and I've seen these qualities um, uh, while he was in my training camp two years ago. He's calm and quiet and he <laughs> likes to learn, and th that's a great quality to have. So I'm definitely going to face a challenger, not challenger, well, he's uh, challenging me so as well, he's a challenger, um, that uh, I never faced before. Like, a lot of people hey, think... Yeah, sure. All that um, it seemed very, very friendly between you two. Not the normal boxing press conference. It's different than any other boxing conference you've been observing or involved in the past, and I'm very happy about it. That is different. We show respect, but it doesn't mean we will be so uh, friendly with each other in the ring. So we might we might be friends. Is it hard fighting someone you like personally? Is it hard? I know it's going to be hard because Anthony is a great challenger. He is going to be in his best shape and uh, I probably never fought anybody of his caliber. So it's not just on his side that he hasn't had a position that is uh, as tall as big and strong and experienced, but also on my side. I'm expecting it's going to be a very tough fight and a tough challenge for me. Physically you're very even, but do you think age will become a factor in this fight? How old are you? Do you feel do you feel your age? No boxer. I you know that doesn't matter. I, I don't feel my age at all. So now I can say age is just now. Maybe I have a couple more gray hair, but it doesn't mean I cannot push now. Or I can have endurance that is that is pretty great. Do you or think, strength. Do, do you think Anthony Joshua has learned from you as a fighter? Do you think you made him a better fighter because of his training? I definitely add to his experience and uh, I think through the camp that he was going, uh, he got better. Uh, he has learned a lot. He knows how I function. I know how he's functioning. 
his function. And uh, I, I know that he's getting better. He's not standing still, so he's moving forward. Um, I, I can say the same. So we both have developed in the past in a certain way. And I think it's good that I... And this sounds so not uh, too strange. But I think good that I lost my last fight because my motivation is up high and I'm alert what is happening and I definitely want to go